Hey guys, Technica here. Today I'm bringing you my first commentary. My first remake of my first commentary. <laughs> um, I hope it all goes well. You know, don't want anything going wrong. Having trouble with what to talk about. I've got nothing really to talk about apart from my trip to Adelaide. I went to see with my cousins, we went Christmas Day, 20, uh, 2100 kilometers to drive, because we didn't fly this year because it cost a lot of money, it was just easier to drive. Well, it was a long drive, the drive down is usually the hardest part, but the drive up is a lot easier. Uh, we got to see the family, we're only there for 8 days this year, so it kind of sucked. We stayed in Brighton, to any of you guys that live in South Australia and know Adelaide area, we stayed in Brighton Caravan Park. It was a very nice place to stay, pretty much on the beach, so it was just a stone's throw to the beach. We were down there a lot of the time, we were either riding our bikes and that around, going to see other family members, you know, shit like that. It was really good actually, I, we enjoy, I enjoyed my time. Uh, I haven't had the opportunity to spend time like, with the family Sports like that for a long time. So it was interesting, you know, got to see Last the cousins the again. Unfortunately, you know, I've got one little was that kind of rat ass of a cousin, I don't know what expression is. Yeah, the, the cousin, you know, he's gone to the stage where he's an absolute dickhead to the people he hates. For some reason he hates me and another one of our cousins. What you would see anyway, um, it all went well control. actually. One day we went to so go cherry picking, and it kind of failed because we drove around for 20. We Thomas. drove, I think it was like 45 minutes up to the mountain sides where all the cherry picking palms were, and, and we the got there. Jeffrey and unfortunately, we're not allowed to pick because the season had finished a bit earlier this year because the heat started coming at around 40 degrees about two days after Christmas Day. So their season finished a bit early; it was too hot for them to go. So they finished up. So we in, so we went to buy the cherries from the place that the farm had them. Fuck, the best cherries you could ever have. Massive, freaking. Oh. Yeah, we also got, um, by LeBron. I think there was a couple he apples there, the and, yeah, whatever. Then after that, because we were with, you know, Fires, the other side of the family, the side Miami that's from England, from you know, with the hillside where the Jeffries are. You know, part of that is, is um, also the division and the very, very we went, because yeah, we were all together, so we decided to go to a pub, I mean, and we went to a pub, we found this little Aussie pub, um, somewhere I can't remember the freaking name, it didn't really matter to me at the time, but wow, we, they had these steaks there, and... Well, Most of the guys I I, I ordered the steak the and steak I reckon that was end. like like three to five centimeters thick and I reckon the, the diameter of it like the perimeter of it was about oh my like I can't even remember it was massive piece of steak it was, oh my god I think I just about threw up halfway through it it was that much I didn't eat all of it couldn't eat all of it you know um, yeah, it's good we got pretty much most of the family was together. It's good we don't get to see them a lot, especially some of the Hill family. You know, they some live in England, some live in other parts of Australia. Um, I think I think one of them lives in Singapore at the moment. You know, he's doing well for himself. He, he has a Mercedes here, and he only drives that when he's here in Australia. I don't know what he drives in Singapore, but it's just something good as well. Fucking Mercs are amazing. And oh, apart from that, the whole trip was good. <laughs> the cousins, uh, the, you know, these two little girls, you know. They are <laughs> freaking funny. One, seven months, I think, ten or eleven, I can't remember. Like nine? Nine or ten? 
they're getting big now. The nine-year-old, she's got long hair now. Oh, almost to her knees. So she has to get that cut eventually. I reckon. See my aunt Chrissy. She, you know, she's always in a very terrible mood in this year. I think we met. Um, again, I haven't seen her in a while. Good mum, Cat. We call her Cat. I think I have an awful name. Cat. Marty, Tatum, and Daniel. Yeah, Daniel. He's, you know, he's eight, but he's he's a lot smaller for his age, and he's loud and shit. <laughs> So it was interesting having him around. I was kind of like his guide, and he I was kind of like his favourite, you know, because like, everyone else kind of like discarded him because he was loud and obnoxious and that. But he he was all right. Just you know, when you talk when you talk to you, like when he was excited, he'd be extremely loud. And you'd be like, Daniel, calm down, calm down, slow it down. And he'd and he'd go just a little bit lower. He'd still be very loud. So we'd tell him that like four or five times before you got to a good volume where you wouldn't be deaf after you finished talking. <laughs> but uh, apart from that, um, this. In the caravan park, you know, you get the oldies and that, and we were staying in the village, you know, the village part of the caravan park, so we got these little cabins, but um, basically, we were riding our bikes and scooters one night trying to find my brother, Aiden and um, Timothy, my other cousin, and because they were on the scooters, and then apparently they rode past, and Timothy was just a little bit of a white, but he's pretty cool. He apparently got called a fat skank by these piss drunk, <laughs> like 60 year olds. <laughs> and they just turned around, and they like both started laughing. And this old lady's like staring at him, and he stops, and he's like looking at him, and he's thinking to himself, what the fuck are you looking at? Because you wouldn't swear to an elderly lady. She goes, you right? And he goes, depends. <laughs> and she goes, why don't I piss off then? You're obviously not. <laughs> he was hoping that, um, she says, depends what, depends on what. And you say, whether I get a drink or not. <laughs> He's a funny kid for his age, you know? He was only 13. But, um, it was, it was a very, oh, I just can't get over it, you know? It was a good trip overall. I'm going to miss them because usually we spend about two weeks over there. So we spend about 14 days. We only got eight days this year. Plus about in the time travelling each way is about twenty is about forty eight hours, you know. So he's with twenty like forty two hours in the car, maybe a bit more driving back and forth. Do you get two out of play and back from it? It's kinda of sucked in a way. Um, oh, I don't know what to talk about, by the way, this is, um, let's continue with the game, this is NBA 2K12, this is my play, he's a 66 overall, oh, I basically just use him for shooting, and that he's just my guy that I just want to shoot with, and own guys, and just constantly shoot, and score, and shit. Um, I've got, I can make a proper guy for you guys, or I can do full on pop brother stuff, you know, working with rebounds, passing, getting assists, and shooting, and other shit, but I can bring you NBA 2K12, I can bring you some FIFA 12, I can bring you the Modern Warfare 3, I can bring you some Dirt 3 once I get good at it, I'm kind of shit at the moment. I'm yeah, like kind of that. just I mean, learning how to drift and shit, I tell you what, it's so easy to drift in Dirt 3, wow, first race ever, go around the corner, first bend, it's kind of a drift one, you know, it's good, go around it, get out, hit the freaking, like, 3,000 trees, spin around, flip over everything, you know, restart back on the road and keep going again, I did that about 4,000 times in my first race. And it kind of slowly got better in my drifting. I'm getting better now. That's so alright. Um, I'm also thinking about doing um, a series where I talk about my eight days plus the travel time. If something good happened in the travels, I'll talk about it. 
But generally the time from when I left home to when I got back, I'll tell you what happened. You know, I'll tell you the funny things, I'll tell you the annoying things. Uh, basically, go over what happened and basically my holiday for you guys, if you want to know about that. I'm sure you don't, because the people that generally watch it and comment and generally people that watch my videos consistently are like my friends. <laughs> so I'm sure they don't want to know. But the people, like some people that actually want to watch my videos, you know. Um, and another thing about the intro, the intro was made by my good friend Skidit or Harry. He's a good mate of mine, a great editor, a great model for three player. Um, Dirt Force 4, Dirt 3, whatever comes along, he's fantastic at it. He's extremely good on the computer, you know, with most things. He makes very good montages, I gotta say, very good montages. He mixes it together with dubstep. Uh, you guys gotta check his channel out. Yeah, yeah, his YouTube channel will be in the description. I suggest you go check it out. He do will make he will edit videos for you. I don't know the edit I don't know the details for it and all that shit, but you, you know you question within I guess his words. Um fifteen minutes this video goes well I'm gonna have trouble talking about this. <laughs> I don't I don't wonder how long I'm into this video now. I'm kind of already struggling to talk. We're about ten minutes in now. Fucking struggling to think of things to talk about. Wish I had more things to talk about. Sometimes you, you know, when you're first starting out, kind of shit. And I know this is kind of my first video when it shouldn't be my first video. But I finally figured it out, and I'm fucking happy, and you should be happy too. I'll tell you some swear words that I learned in Greek and shit, and I'll tell you them in sooner videos. So if you have anyone being a ticket to school, you can swear to them in Greek, and you'll be like, what the fuck? You know, they won't know what you're saying, you know, they would just be confused. Otherwise, you know, if you told them it, they'd probably bash you. Unless you're a tough cunt like me or Harry. <laughs> or some of the other friends that we've got. Um, you know, I'm telling you now, there's going to be a lot more videos coming through. My Skyrim is fucked up, and don't, it's not my computer, it's actually the Skyrim itself. The siding menu, it's actually something wrong with it. Like, it'll go, you know, you go to the Steam, click play, it loads up the little siding menu, you've got play, options, text, support, and other shit, etc. I click the play, the whole thing starts up, I press continue, I want to continue from doing, and what happens is, it gets to the loading screen, and it won't respond, it will just stay on the loading screen forever and ever and ever and ever, just bring out the new messages one after another, if you know what I'm talking about, so it does, so I don't know, I've got the warranty and the insurance on it, thank god for the you know, game. So, I can go trade it in, tell them what's wrong with it, and I get a new disc free, so that should be good. I think I will have to go do that. I don't know, I think maybe now that I should get it on Xbox, because now I can record. So I'll inquire about that whether it's just like it's another twenty dollars or something like that. I don't Derek care. I'll just buy it for the Xbox. This is my own money. It's not that much. I did. Oh, I didn't use most of my own money for buying these two games for Christmas. You know, and the DVDs. The about ready to get um. What else? To talk? Oh God! I gotta stop saying Jeffries. that. Like a bit of a retard. But um, I can't play the screen, so I don't know what's happening on the screen, so I can't tell you about it. Hey guys. Oh, hang on, I figured it out. There we go. Now I'm playing, so I can tell you, sort of tell you about the game here. Well, um, I'm obviously number nine. I'm, I'm with the Miami Heat right now, and oh god, I'm doing a bit horrible this game. But oh well, and he just fucking owns me, and I get the little freaking allow man to score. This is one of my fuck around games. I don't know whether I did good or not, but this is the second quarter. I think. Ah, oh, I think this is one of my messed up recordings here. 
Uh, oh well, um, I'll bring you guys a full game eventually. This is just one that I can put up on YouTube for you to watch. But this is going to be good, you know. I can't wait to start uploading videos regularly. I'm going to plan to record some tonight, talk about them. I'm planning about doing a um, S and D series, you know, talk about what happened in the game, what my mistakes were, maybe kind of inspired by S and D for dummies. And you see here, you know, the defense is kind of shit in this game. Whoever wrote it should dig a hole, die, be dug up, hit by a train, and then raped up the ass by an abo. That's what should happen to them. <laughs> um, it should be good, you know. I'm basically defending all men by myself. I think overall in this game, because I remember most of my games, I got traded by the 76ers to this team. Because I was a fucking ownage um, point guard, as I am in this game. <laughs> and I got traded to Miami Heat. It all went well. They put up lots of ads for me. You know, come watch me play because I'm a pro like that. You know, I'm black. Not really, I'm white. <laughs> I play like a white boy down on the streets. Even though I sound pretty gay right now, like I got all that swag, single white and gay. <laughs> As I try to spin this guy and get the ball stolen off me, because you know I'm white. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna have to wrap this up. So I hope you guys enjoy this little preview. I will see you guys later.